So today I'm going to give you a sneak peek behind the covers in the labs. This is some stuff that I've been working on uh, relating to PhoneGap Build. So uh, we're going to take a look at that right now. PhoneGap Build is really neat. What it allows you to do, uh, it allows you to define a project, say all your HTML, CSS, JavaScript for your application. And this would include all of your, your Alpha Anywhere stuff. And... Uh, and then you don't need to install the uh, iOS uh, Xcode. You don't need to install the Android SDK. Uh, PhoneGap Build will build these native uh, applications for you. And then you can go ahead and load them on your device to test and so on. You can distribute to other members of your team. Uh, and then you can actually uh, install the applications into the different stores, including the uh, Apple Store. So uh, it's really a, a great capability, and it, it makes it makes this actually much easier than uh, having to, uh, you know, go go in and 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 set up your own Xcode project or your own uh, Android project to build a, a PhoneGap application. So we're pretty excited about it. We're going to be adding more and more functionality uh, into our builders to support phone gap build and uh, but this is sort of a an overview just to uh, so you get an idea of of what it's all about and how it's going to go ahead and work so um, so I've set up a phone gap build account and I've got a phone gap uh, build project that I created called alpha scan now if you go to set up a new app um, you can just upload a zip file or you can uh, if you got an open, it's, it has to be an open source right now, GitHub repo. They're changing that so it'll support private uh, very soon. Um, now, actually, I think they do support private. You just have to have, you have to have a, a paid uh, service. And I think it's like 10 bucks a month to have, yeah, up to 25 private uh, apps. So uh, it's pretty nice. Or you can just upload a zip file and that would be all your HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and all of that. Um, in an alpha application, very typically what you're going to do is you're not going to load that content on the device. You're going to load it remotely. So you're going to remotely load. Uh, you're going to point to uh, your alpha server after you've determined that, yeah, I'm online. I've got a connection. Um, if not, you probably want to load some local assets. And then when you get a connection, you know, you'll load up uh, and point to the alpha server and load up your content. Uh, you also need to pass through the platform that you're using. You know, are you on iOS or, or are you on uh, Android or Windows or whatever? Because uh, we need to know back at the alpha server what JavaScript to load. So uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, and I'll sh actually show you how we're going to do that for our simple application here called Alpha Scan. So what Alpha Scan is going to do is it's going to allow you to scan in a QR code. Um, so this may be a component that you build or something you want to load it quickly on Android or iOS or whatever and um, and then it will launch that application um, and we'll take a look at the actual code to do that. So let's do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly look at the uh, index HTML file that makes up this application. So uh, here um, it should look pretty standard, um, the title, and then we're including some script coming in. Notice I'm just loading phonegap.js. No specific version, just that. Here I need to load in the barcode scanner because I'm going to use that. Um, and I load up one of my own index.js files. It does some stuff. And then I've got a, a function in here. Um, this right here, scan and go. And, and what this does is it uh, this is going to access the barcode scanner that is in it's the Cordova phone gap barcode scanner and you'll actually see that in action in this application this is a really really simple app so all it has is two buttons in it they're defined down here um, and one button what it does is it it loads an a5w page from my a5w uh, from my alpha server and notice that here I pass in the Cordova version and the platform. So device.cordova and device.platform give me that information. I pass that to the alpha server. And now alpha knows what JavaScript to load and what version to load and everything else. So it's really that simple to uh, load up a really complex Alpha Anywhere application into uh, PhoneGap. And then my second button uh, is going to be the scan and go button. And we'll actually see that functionality. 
and then we load up the device properties we sense what we're on and we'll, in the, it will show in the uh, in the application so this is the definition of the uh, phone gap uh, of the local assets of the phone gap, gap application now what I'm going to do is make a change to this code uh, so that it updates my repository so um, I'm going to go ahead, I just took a couple of spaces out, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my local uh, repo. So this is my GitHub repo that's on my machine. And sure enough, you see, oh, there's a change. There's We took the space out of the index.html file right here. And I've got this also synced to my GitHub repo, and that is... Um, what PhoneGap build is looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll just enter in a comment here of test. We're going to go ahead commit and sync. So we'll see that happen. Here's the, un the uh, unsync commit. It's going to automatically commit. And now the GitHub repo has um, been updated. Okay, so let's take a look at um, we go back to um, PhoneGap build and from here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and update our code. So I'm going to click on this button here and we want to pull the latest code from our uh, repo. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and just bear with me here. This can take a bit. There's a lot of people using PhoneGap build. It's very popular. And what's going to happen as soon as this fires up is it's going to start building the native uh, software for all of the different supported platforms. These are all the platforms that PhoneGap build uh, supports. So we can see iOS, Windows, uh, HP, there's Android here, there's Blackberry, and uh, I'm not even sure what this one is here. Primarily, I'm focusing in on iOS and, and Android. And then as the application is built, um, you'll see these uh, blue buttons fire up. And so it's generating the IPA file right now for iOS. And, and there's the APK file all set up for Android right now. And there, sure enough, everything looks good. So this all worked. And now right now, I've got this, this QR code up here. Now, there seemed to be an error here, and I can click on Rebuild, and it will go ahead and just fire it up, and that's for BlackBerry. It'll rebuild that. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you my screen on my iPad, and we're going to go ahead and scan that QR code in. That will install the application on my um, iPad. So I'm going to use AirPlay for that, so just bear with me a second while I go ahead and, uh, and set up the mirroring so that you can see it. Uh, and there we go. So now you can see um, my iPad. And what I'm going to do is launch this application called QR Reader. And QR Reader is going to let me uh, go ahead and scan in. And I'm going to have to move that just a sec. And I'm so I'm scanning in my uh, my screen. Let me get that. And what it says is it wants to install the uh, Alpha Scan application. I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll see that installing right here. So it's now installing on my device. And now we're going to go ahead and launch it. So this is the application. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this thing over just a bit so that we can go ahead and work with um, Alpha. There we go. So now I'm uh, within my uh, alpha application and I've got, I'll, I'll just run live preview here quickly so you can see um, what's going on with this this app. So this is a little app I wrote that uh, is tied to a MySQL backend and uh, these images are stored within that MySQL backend. So this is a uh, um, using Cordova. These buttons won't work in live preview because the Cordova uh, shell isn't loaded. It's just not there. Uh, it's because we're not on the device. Um, but you'll be able to take pictures, select from the library, and also there's a button down here for Flickr that will access my Flickr uh, feed. 
uh, and it's going to launch that in a in-app browser. So uh, in order to see that running, I'm going to click on Remote Test. And Remote Test is pretty neat because it's going to bring up a QR code. And um, let's go ahead and, and, and bring that up. And now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to uh, we're going to scan that in. So keep an eye on my iPad. Let me see if I can move that over a little bit. There we go. And so now it's scanned in the QR code and it's going to now launch that component. And that, oh, my battery's going down. But uh, so now that alert came up because in my component, I, I have... Uh, when Cordova is ready, it, it brings that on up. So here you can see this is the actual application running on my iPhone. Let me just move that over so you can see it a little better. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select a photo. So uh, we'll just bring up something from my library. And I'm going to go ahead and submit that. And then we'll go to the next um, image. That's a bike I was doing some work on. and. There's a motor I was working on. Gee, I seem to do a lot of that. And then, and then back to uh, this image here, which is in our first um, uh, record. So now I'm going to hit this Flickr button, and we're going to bring up my uh, Flickr photo stream. So this is pretty cool because this is in an in-app browser. So um, I haven't lost context. I haven't gone and launched, say, mobile Safari. You know, I'm still within the native application, and this functionality is is included as part of PhoneGap. So this can be really helpful. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit the Done button. And, and here I am back in my app, and everything's working. And I didn't lose context. You know, everything was was um, just the way we'd expect it to be. So I'm going to do that again. I'll bring up the in-app browser. And you know, here I'm now within uh, uh, my Flickr feed. And now I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to get out of this application. So now I'm, you know, I'm into something else, you know. So let's go launch, uh, say, iDraw. And so now I'm in another application. And now I say, oh, I want to go back to uh, to that, to Alpha Scan. And, and sure enough, here I am. I'm within the app. I'm now done with uh, that browser. And I didn't lose context. So this is really part of the beauty of a native application. So what I've shown you today is, is, um, using PhoneGap build to build a native PhoneGap application. And then in this case, we built a, a application that launched a QR scanner, and then that scanner loaded an Alpha Anywhere component into it. This native application could have just launched a full-blown uh, Alpha Anywhere application, but I think you get the idea. Next, I'll show this to you on an Android device. I'm going to actually have to film the Android device because I can't show you the, uh, the Android device screen through AirPlay, but I thought it was important that you see the same app running on an Android device. So we'll pick that up in the next video.